Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Lens Island, shall we? Well, I want to say I've been, you know, really having a good time with this game, and I've been getting some fantastic feedback from all of you, and some great tips, and the best tip that I got so far <laughs> was from my buddy Alex, who told me that you can jump. So I didn't notice this, but you can jump by pushing spacebar. So look how good I look jumping, and also getting to the town over that bridge that was collapsed is much easier now that I know that you can actually jump. So in terms of what we're up to right now, we're trying to collect goods for the town, right? So they have a list of things that we need, so let's just gather as many resources as we can. Now, I want gold because I need to expand my backpack, but I can't really do that just yet. So I'm just going to try to, you know, be a good lumberjack here and just chop this down. All right. Now, eventually, of course, um, oh, that's the wrong weapon. There we go. Eventually, I need to go to these areas with the circles on the map to fight whatever enemies are required to open up this cave because there's dungeoneering in the game. So it's like, you know, it's got an adventure aspect to it while I go down into the uh, into the depths. And let's see, I have 75 wood. So something I'd like to check out, I'm just going to run back to the town. And I'm obviously uh, going to jump now. Look how much better that is, right? And see if there's anyone in the town I can sell stuff to. Now, I don't know if they're going to get upset if I, like, cut down their plants and grow them in my own area or what the deal is with that. Or if this is just a town garden that I can participate in. If chopping that down hurts them in any way, I don't know. We're going to figure all that out. But on the notice board here, can I um, give the items that I need. Well, luckily, to make it to level 2, I only need 100 in each stack, and I can carry 100, so I don't need to have a new backpack just yet. So, if I upgrade the town, we're going to get extra house plots, the shop will buy and sell more, and there'll be a furniture builder. Alright, so how awesome is that? So, um, I don't... Let me check uh, in the settings and just look at some of the uh, controls for the game. Um... Let's see, so there's jump, space bar, screenshot, inventory, hot bar, camera controls. Okay, what I was really looking for is to see if there was a way, um, I'm actually going to turn uh, that, like that. I was checking to see if there was a way to bring up like a quest log or something like that so I could keep track of what I need. But let's just get 100 stone, 100 wood, and 100 fiber, um, and 100 clay. I think that's what we need. Yeah, or 50, 50 fiber, 50 clay, and 100 and 100. Okay, great. Let's go do all that. We can easily do that, right? All right. There's clay right here. Speak of the clay. Oh, I'm not hitting it. I'm standing on it. Okay, here. Get off of it. There you go. Oh, it says no harvesting in town. Well, that answers the whole can I take your garden thing. So anything within these walls is like their stuff. Okay. Yeah, I guess it would be too easy if I could do that. But I was still hoping I could. All right, let's get outside the town. Now we can harvest, right? So... We can get the rock right here. And, you know, we're slowly but surely getting experience. You can see the blue bar moving. And it it moved when I broke the node. So it, I don't think it's going swing by swing. I think it's going when you complete the harvesting project, it boosts. I almost find it easier for myself to get the crit if I'm listening as opposed to watching for it. 
it's like a slight pulse right after you strike and you can just get into a cool um audio rhythm or at least i can uh where you know i'm just like i'm gonna take some damage there i wonder if i hurt myself all right and we're full of wood so you can see we're full up on wood and let's go ahead and get the rest of the stuff that we need then uh there's some like critters over here some crabs or something uh they hurt me maybe um this barrel i can break this let's do it and we got some stone all right well we need that let's get this for the fiber i think the main thing for me at this point in the game is i still just have to get used to the fact that it's like diablo where the camera is fixed and i can't zoom in i can't pan around once I just accept a fixed camera, I'm going to sink into this game even more because it's really a beautiful game. I love chill games like this where I'm just kind of gathering stuff. You can hear the nature sounds. It's fantastic. All right, and we're going to chop this. All right. Just keep getting all of this stuff. Berries, whatever you got. I need to eat. Oh, my satiety. That's why I'm taking damage. I keep missing that. I thought I was getting hurt um, from chopping down trees uh, like you do in Wayward or something like that. And no, it was just because I'm hungry. <laughs> I need to keep my eye on that bar. I'm a noob, so, you know. It's also just my MO is that, like, I can notice some things and completely ignore other things. Luckily, I have all of you wonderful uh, YouTube viewers who set me straight on my... Oh, I don't need wood. Many, uh, you know, cognizant lapses. Cognition crumbles. There we go. Ooh, we got like a gem or something valuable item all right cool let's see how we're doing 50 stone a little bit of fiber a little bit of clay all right well i'll just keep progressing this way here's some stone for us i'm almost level one i don't know also if you get more experience if you crit or if it's just you know, you do in the sense that it's, um, there's a bottle here. Can I just pick this up? Yep, I got it. And I got glass. Oh, this is how you make windows. So, I mean, that's one way to make windows anyway, is to pick up that glass. Now, here's a bridge that I probably want to complete. And, oh, cool, look at this. I could repair it. I could actually do it right now. And it would let me go up to this section. Um, this is dumb, but I'm going to do it just because I want to see it happen. And I want to see what's over here. And what's over here is, looks like, um, activate something that I can activate. Oh, I got a bunch of experience. So that wasn't altogether dumb. And let's see what happens. Skill point. Cool. All right, we have a skill point to spend. So what do we want to spend a skill point on? Well, right now I have these two skills. Now I could go over here and um, boost my base damage or I could boost my mining or oh oh never mind I can only do this I could get an extra hot bar slot or I could get more health and if I do this maybe I go over here to help with hunger or I go down here for blocking wow uh, I think an extra hot bar slot sounds the most important to me but now I've unlocked these skills so I could get the extra resource gathering, all kinds of great stuff. Sweet. All right, let's break these. Oh, let's use the uh, right tool for the job. And you never know what you're going to get here. And what's cool about the game, one of the many things that are cool about the game, is that you can just um, pretty much gather whatever you like as long as you don't have the full amount of that inventory slot type. So if I find something new, you know... I don't have to worry. Like, if I was playing Valheim or something, and I found a new item, and I only have one of it, well, it would be a problem because 
just one of an item is taking up my slots. But in this, it's more about volume than variety. All right, and we're almost there on wood already. Uh, I don't want to chop anything down that's by the shore because I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to just cut this down here. Getting hungry. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. All right. And let's just try to get full up on wood so that we can move on to stone and clay and fiber. But the cool thing is I'm just leveling up the whole time I'm doing it. So why not? Yeah. Full fiber. And that's full on wood. Great. Here's some berries. So we can eat. Fiber. I have to say the knife slashing animation is fantastic. It feels really satisfying. Got it. Uh-huh. There we go. And uh, let me go over here. And let's see, I have 33... 74, 37. So we're making good progress. We're doing it. Here's clay. Fantastic. It's getting dark. I should probably head home. Ooh, is this just a gemstone? Nah, it's just like a shell or something. I can't get it. Obviously, if you take that talent to do 5% more, then, you know, your crits are going to be amplified. I need one piece of clay. We can do that. We will do that. We found it. All right, there we go. Got it. So we have the clay. Now it's just about fiber and stone. Oh, there's some berries. I can't have enough berries at this point. There we go. All right, let's head back home. Um, my house is over here, so I just need to go southeast, and we'll make it eventually. So we're just going to run along, holding our machete. Stay away from us. We are dangerous. I can't tell if the game is always letting me know that you cannot interact with something if the tool icon does not appear over it. Or if I get a tool, like maybe it, it won't unless I have the right tool. Or, you know, some things could be any tool. All right. 78 stone. Eating a berry. And I don't think I left anything in here, did I? Just um, these extra weapons. Okay, so let's go in and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Just so it's nice and daytime for us. Because it looks amazing with the sunrise coming out. And we've slept. And we'll just kind of scoot along looking for some stone. And here's some right here. Uh-huh. Here we go. Beautiful. 92. Almost there. And uh, we're almost there on fiber as well. That's 45. Wow. You get one fiber for, per thing. Like Fiber is easy to do. Like, you chop it up but you don't get that many per interaction, unfortunately. There we go. So we're now good on fiber. It's just stone that we need. That's clay. That's an old wagon. That's not the kind of stone that we can mine. Here we go. No. I lied. That was a decorative boulder. Not a mining boulder. Now this boulder, yes.
There it is. And we're full of stone. So we have 50, 65, 100, and 100. Let's go do it. Let's go level up this town. Let's eat some berries while we're running. Somersault. Get that somersault going. It's always good for your cardiovascular to just be somersaulting everywhere. Jumping. Spinning. Alright. They've got the beautiful raised garden beds. Time for me to get some. Okay. So let's go over here and make the dream. And we're going to upgrade this. We did it. Sweet. I love that. I love when you can visibly see your effect on the world. It's so great. Okay, so um, we are now an established town. And we could become a mining town, which doesn't have a very wholesome ring to it, but that's okay. And we would get um, more housing plots. Um, we get a mining outpost, and we get two new villagers, a farmer and a pirate. Hilarious. But we do need 150, so we're going to have to upgrade our backpack. So let's talk to the mayor. Hello, traveler. Um, how can I help you? Uh, what is this place? Right, right. Same stuff. Okay. Okay. So he's got no new info for me, which is sad, but um, I need to figure out how to make money. Um, so, oh my God, I didn't mean to attack you, dude. Who are you? Hello. Okay, that's Kevin. And here's somebody. Um, this is Steph, and she says, good day. Indeed, it's a wonderful day. Okay. Um, so that table is awkwardly blocking the way through right there. All right, well... We've upgraded the town, and here's somebody. Fishman, who are you? Omar, hello. All right. Um, oh, look at this. Buy. So this is how you sell stuff to this guy. He will buy. I can buy glass for 15 or sell for two, right? Um, I can sell stone, and I can sell uh, clay, right? So uh, how much do I have that I can sell him? I can sell 10 for one, I guess. So I sold 10 clay for one gold. And um, what is this? Oh, I can buy this furniture. Okay, so that's one way to make money is to just sell goods to that dude. That might be the only way to make money that I can see so far. Uh, okay. I can go in here and it's a... Uh, well, it's a room with a bookshelf. All right, let's see. So backpack and clothes person. Um, so it's 50 gold for that. So we're going to need to farm quite a bit. The glass does sell better, though, if we can find some. So there's that, right? Um, let me look at what I can build. Oh, never mind. What's this? It says map. And what has happened on the map? There's like a, there's mailboxes now. Okay. Um... Oh, look at this. Seeds. No, no, I already had this. Um, let's see if I can build anything for myself, though. Not really. I think I'll probably have to buy everything. All right, so let's just go gather resources and sell it. We can't do that in town, so let's go outside the town. I'll tell you one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go check one of these spots and see how hard it is to unlock the dungeon because I have a good feeling that I can make more money in the dungeon. I also have those gems that I found which seem like they should sell for more but I don't quite understand how to sell them yet. I need to find um, something in the town that looks like gems to click on I suppose. Here's a glass bottle. Can I get that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do this to try to make cash. Just walk around picking up bottles. I'm like a recycling person. Here we go. Here's another one. Gimme. And I'm here on the map, so I need to follow this sandbar out. We'll break this. And we got some fiber. Fantastic. And let's go over here. Wow, look at this beautiful autumnal area. These deciduous trees are 
quite breathtaking. All right. And the map says over here there is something. So let's keep looking. Oh, look at this. This is going to be my test. Use air rolls to jump over long distances. You can jump further when air rolling instead of jumping. Run and jump forward. After you've left the ground, trigger a roll. Sweet. Okay, so they're giving me a, a new move I can do. All right, so let's go ahead and run and then jump. And oh my god, I missed, but I did it. It's a little hard to aim it. Maybe it's easier if you're using the mouse, but I almost got it. I'll get there. Oh god, that that wasn't it. It is a little funky using the keyboard. I'd love to use a controller in this game, to be honest. There we go, we got it. Alright, and we activate this. Heck yeah, activate it. Turn it on. Crank it. Oh my. I love how it just gathers a bunch. Ooh, we got some new food to eat, too. That's great. We got pears. We got berries. And we got some experience. Which is absolutely sensational. Um, looks like pears grow here, right? Are these pears? No, they're flowers. Well, I'm going to take everything I can and see what I can sell. I'm trying to make cash here. We've got a bigger backpack to buy. It could be a situation where I have to just mine a bunch of stone and things like that, but that, that those ingredients seem pretty pedestrian. So now we just need to go over here, kind of exploring the island to find the next item that we need or the next location to perhaps open up that dungeon. So let's run over here, just having a good time. I also want to check out these mailboxes, see what they're all about. Am I close to one? Not really, I need to go further this way. The game has been saved. All right, so straight south would be a mailbox, but maybe it's inside the town? Yeah, it's over here. Here we go. Um, bed and building. Oh, if I want someone to move in, I have to build this stuff. Cool, okay. So it's not like it automatically makes a house for them. I need to make it. So they need a bed and a building. So I got to get all the resources to do that for them absolutely all right so now we've got a few objectives get a backpack make money level up the town put in new villagers and try to figure out how to get to this spot on the map looks like we can do it here the water is shallow enough for me to kind of poke through and where am i now now i need to go even further Oh, there's a glass bottle, though. Get that. Great. Um, can I... Can I swim? Yeah, I can just swim. Okay, cool. Alright, maybe I'll learn something new over here as well. There's a bench. Oh, there's a bad guy, for sure. He's making, like, a spider or something to come get me. Alright. We got it. And let's just... Oh, it's a spawner. Okay. I didn't lose that much health so far. We got it. Alright, we, we beat that. Oh, there's another one. There's pumpkins, too. Wow, okay. Uh, now I can see how... At first I was like, I only want resource, but... I actually need... To be able to do more damage. Uh, can I get this pumpkin? I sure can. We got pumpkin seeds and we got pumpkin. That's great. Kind of great. I mean... Pumpkin... Ain't exactly the tastiest. Unless you got a pie. Uh, can I go in here and see? What's this going to be like inside here? Oh, it's a new area. All right, then. And this is the Keystone Cave. Let's turn this on. Oh, we need something to light it. Oh, let's see if we can use this. Uh, use this. 
Is this cool? Let's see what we got. Yeah, we got enough to light this up. Light it up. Do it. Sweet. Wow, look at that lighting effect. That's actually amazing looking. All right, and we'll go up here. And there's a baddie. So let's just take him down. Eat some berries. All right. And let's just look for some more torches. All right, cool. We fought that pretty easily. Um, oh, well, let's light this up so we can see. Push plus one. Push light. And we got it. And now we can maybe activate this. Boom. And we leveled up. And we unlocked the dungeon, so we can go check that out. I'm picking up mushrooms, by the way, on the floor. And we can interact with this. I think this might just be stone, though. Yeah, this is just regular stone. Let's just look around a little bit more. Make sure there's nothing that we missed. Um, this also appears to just be regular stone. Oh, but I can just jump down here and... Um, oh, okay. Well, we still gathered them. And then let's get this because... If this is flint or coal or even metal, we definitely want it. And it is something new so there were some metal shards in there that was new to us okay great sweet all right let's go back to the mainland oh we got to level ourselves up as well all right and let's go ahead and now we're here game saved it's a little dark in this area but let's look down here i didn't explore oh you know but Anything new? That's just fiber. Okay. Let me go to here, and let me go to um, level up. And I'm going to take... Uh, I want to get more resources right now, so I'm going to unlock 5% damage there. Um, what's the next one? 10% damage? Yeah, that's pretty gross. And then this is like... Um, size will only harvest fully grown crops. That seems like a quality of life thing. So we opened up this right here, and there's another plot. The mailbox means a plot where someone can move in, is the way I'm taking it. Okay, and here's Pumpkin. We'll take it. Weapon tier too low. Okay. Um, we're getting into an area where we can't quite gather what we need because our weapon is not good enough. And that's sad, but it's real. Let's break this barrel. Alright, we get anything good? We got some stone. Not my favorite but we got some more pumpkins and such. All right, great. Well, pumpkin here. No, come back. Maybe you have to break it. Well, it's gone now. This is a good place to get fiber, I'll tell you that much. All right, fantastic. So, where am I? I'm here. Let's just jump off the cliff and see if we can swim. Yeah, we swim really well. It's dark. It's hard to see. Let me see if I can get through the town this way. Mm, not so much. Here we go. Now, I don't know if I can sleep in the town for free. Like, if they'll let me just crash at the inn... Or if I'm, you know, got to pay some cash. I don't know how that works. Can I sleep here? What's the deal on the sleeping? It doesn't look like it. It, it don't look like there's a bed for me. They're like, no, no, no. Oh, God, no. We don't trust you in our town. Fair enough. All right. So we're going to have to explore the town, find more places to sell resources, build the villagers outposts or not outposts but homes and 
go to check out the dungeon. I also want to gather more resources, try to hit, you know, level three, as it were. But it's too hard to see in the nighttime. So let's go ahead and, and sleep. And we'll get into that next time. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. This game just gets cooler as I play more of it. And I'd love to know what you think of it. And if you uh, have any tips or suggestions for me, I'd appreciate it. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, everybody. Take care. <laughs>